Hey Crazy Catters, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long while. I've had life happen, so hopefully your holidays were merry and bright, whatever holiday you uh, celebrate. And if you celebrate one, we've made it to 2023. Wow. So, well, as time keeps ticking, let's keep on ticking. I won't keep this long, but as the title of the video suggests, we are doing a Shein makeup haul. So, um, I just want to put in there, these are Shein earrings. Very cute. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay. So, here's our bag of goodies. I think I've got a full bag of makeup. If I don't, I'm not going to be too surprised about that. But I tried to get a lot of things that I know that would interest me and wouldn't be a waste. I also want to make sure that if you guys are interested in certain brands, well, I can tell you my opinion about it and whatnot, but you can always just, you know, try it yourself. So I'm just here. So thank you for being here with me. All right, so let's get started. I actually forgot a lot of the things that I bought. It's been a while. I've been waiting to do this video, so I can't remember everything I bought, but I remember some things like this beauty sponge. Now, I'm not a person for beauty sponges because I don't have the patience to sit here and beat my face, literally, with a sponge. So, um, but I did buy it because in a previous video, I did a um, the Shein Glam uh, foundation balm and the brush I bought the brush to go with it but the brush wasn't really doing it so maybe a sponge would do better and I like this because it has all these corner shapes and you know they get real close and whatnot and it has a flat end and stuff like that so we'll be trying this out that always said have a good knife and handy and with plastics, this I, it's just not workable. This is the, oh, the she, she Glam Dynamic Dual Stack Eyeshadow. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember this. This intrigued me. So, neat little package, whatnot. Here's the top. If I can ever get it open. Okay, so this is your matte shadow and this color comes with a little mirror and then i think you yep, twist and here goes your cream and it's of a kind of metallic oh, i can't even get my finger in there okay we'll get a nail in there yeah <laughs> that little dot right there next is the glow bomb no glow bloom liquid highlighter Oh, okay. So they're new um, liquid highlighters um, because, you know, we did the liquid blush. So I wanted to try out their liquid highlighters. So same deal. Oh, actually not. It comes with a doe foot applicator. And, ooh, yeah, a lot comes off, but. That is a pretty shade. Next, I got the Eternal Beauty Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, the stick. So it comes like this, cute little shape. Comes with that kind of felt tip. Oh yeah, that is. As this is the Feather Better Liquid Eyebrow Pencil. Okay, and I got it in medium brown. Simple, little brown pencil. And, oh yes, this is the kind of like clawed. You see those three points? It's clawed, so that will be interesting to see. Oh, here we go. We have the Shleam Cosmic Crystal Mousse Brush. Yes, I remember this because it said mousse. And I'm like, all right, 
how does that work? Comes in this nice little crystal package. And we'll see if I can, yep, yeah, I can get into it. And it feels kind of, um, wow, it's right there. You really can't see it. So, okay, so I've got the She Glam 12 hour full coverage concealer. Comes in this holographic package. That's neat. And I got this in the shade Cotton Candy. It is pretty cute. Comes on a straight doe foot applicator. Oh, and that might be a little bit more brighter than I need it to be. But you know what? It's here. And again, we'll be using the Shein Glam uh, Foundation Balm. So let's get our Shein face on. All right, back. We're going to start with, as usual, the eyes. And what color is this? Sepai Haze. So it's kind of like a reddish-brown kind of color. And I know that you guys have been wondering, it's like, well, Chris, you really didn't get a full face of makeup. I was like, where's the lipstick and where's the powder and the mascara and stuff like that? And I hear you. Um, I didn't get any of that because the mascara I wanted to get, it was sold out and I didn't want to wait for it to come into stock because, you know, who knows how long that's going to take. And the unmasked they did have were all waterproof. I do not like waterproof mascara. That takes out your eyelashes in a minute. So, yeah, not a fan. That blended easily. It's a fair, cute color. And so now we're going to just go into this cream kind of coppery color. And they do have other colors, but this is the one I decided to change. And I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush because, again, I can't get my finger in here. So, hopefully, this will do. Okay, well, it is certainly a creamy, but... I can't tell because I don't know if it's the brush or the product itself, but um, I'm going to have to try this when I don't have plastic on because it's not working for me right now. But for right now, pretty decent. It, it at least goes on. It spreads. So, mm. well, on to the eyeliner. So let's give this a good whirl and whatnot. So, and like I said, I, there was all kinds of things. They even have, you know, collabs and special boxes and everything, but it didn't, and I would have got one of those, but they didn't give me everything I wanted. So I just ended up doing individuals. And uh, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I didn't get any setting powder because the majority of it is for oily skinned people. And I don't have oily skin. I have severely dry skin. All right, now that that's done, on to concealer. And everybody, if you've been here a long time, you know that I like to put my concealer on before I put my foundation. So we're going to do this right here. And... I just need a dollop. Yes, ma'am. Because technically that's the only, only thing I want brightened and out of my uh, covered up. So it is, well, quite not thick, but it does have coverage to it. Again. Probably not my color, but you know what? I'm with it. And whatnot. Um, 
Let's get into the other elephant in the room. I have uh, had surgery and um, on my hand, I had a carpal tunnel for my, because of my job. So I got essentially hurt on the job. Wow, that is bright there. Oh, okie dokie, no problem. And so, okay, next is our Shem Glam Balm Foundation in Peach. And I'm going to use the sponge dry because um, it came with a recommended brush. So that tells me that it doesn't really do well when it's wet. So we're going to use a dry sponge and we're going to see what the tea is about this. If this works better. I've already tried this actually. But the brush just wasn't really working for me. So we're going to, oh my gosh, this, this seems to be actually, I think I pat, maybe put too much on the sponge. <laughs> anyway, so I did get hurt on the job and now I'm not working there anymore, so. Um, I have quit the medical field, so I am not dipping back in here. I'm just going to take what's on my face and move it. There we go. So, um, I had a surgery in August and then I have been in physical therapy since then. And I had to get a lawyer and, uh, tell him a thing or two, so... Waiting for that. So right now I got a settlement settlement and I'm just waiting for that to go through. Oh, and I also did not get contouring because I barely contour as it is. I contour the usual spots and I call it a day. And I'm going to do quite a bit of contouring too because my face looks very um pale. I don't really worry about these areas because usually my bangs and my hair is covering it and I don't usually look like a ghost. So I'm going to use the beauty sponge for these and blend, 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 blend. Okay, sponge actually is pretty good. Blends out contour really good, so... Let's get into the brows now. And we're going to see what the tea is on that. <clears throat> Use the end of this buoy here. Brush my, my brows up here. And we'll, and we'll worry about shaping later. So, we're going to on here real fine like I just technically I just need spot treatment as if we can all see my eyebrows are quite thick gonna go into our mm, crystal moosey stuff and we'll see how well that works out. Why is that sticking out? Anywho, let's see the tea on that. Give her a smile. Okay. This is very light, not a lot of pigment, which is fine. I prefer a light dusting of blush. Anyway, there we go. Okay, we'll take it from there. And I'm just gonna use my finger instead of my brush because I feel 
like this would be the best for that. I mean, it kind of comes out thick, so you know, I don't want anything severely, you know. Like, damn, here's my cheekbone, bruh. Well, it's an okay highlighter. And look at that. I could barely get it on my cheeks, but oh, no, this is going to be like the Shlee Gam 101 um, that they technically don't. They had a uh, eyeshadow palette. Those are no longer in circulation. So I think all they have from that is these lip jewels and a um, blush and highlighter duel. I guess I was a little too late to the party. Let's get into review. So, everything was good. Highlighter, it was okay. I mean, I've technically had better liquid highlighter. It's all right. Um, it gets a nice sheen, so I'm not really all that much uh, mad about it. So, love this. Always like a good neutral color. And it, for me, you know, these are my own opinion. This uh, does well for me. I like the texture. It doesn't feel like I have any on. Also could be that... Uh, foundations like clogging up my face um and I can't remember if I said the color to this but this is Bellini so <laughs> and the highlighter is Bellini plush so anyway um I like this maybe not by itself um you know this too compared uh maybe with some other colors or stuff um this is bright, but it's good. I actually, it has good coverage, stuff like that. Um, not creasing, so I like this. It's just maybe a little too bright. I really can't actually tell. This, I really can't tell if I like or not. I mean, with the brush, it was okay, but not really. With the sponge, it was, that was a disaster. Uh, my face, I'm not happy with my face. The sponge, I don't know because, you know, I used it for that. And it spread everything good. So, could be my, again, I'll have to play with it. But other than that, I do like it, actually. Um, did my contour really nice, blended it all out, so that was good. Love the eyeliner. Eyeliner, 10 out of 10. This is also good. I don't know if I'd ever buy these kind of things because this is liquid and they t tend to dry out quicker. So I don't know if I'd buy this again, only for that reason. For right now, it did its job. It did what it was supposed to do so I think that's all I got uh -huh. so yeah other than that it's okay haul some hit and misses you know I can't win them all so technically the only problem like I said highlighter and the bomb foundation but that could be on me again so guys until the next time bye